Suppose you find yourself in a difficult situation, any situation at all. You are desperate and you see no way out of it. You are convinced that you're stuck. Jeanette Walls knows exactly what this feels like. In The Glass Castle, Walls explains her life from the age of three to adulthood. She lived a hard life with a drunken father and an irresponsible, free-spirited mother. Walls always found herself in difficult situations, having to look out for herself and her three siblings. However, Walls wrote The Glass Castle without an ounce of self-pity, proving that one can overcome any situation and keep a positive outlook on life. Today, I am going to encourage you all to read The Glass Castle by Jeanette Walls for three reasons. First, to realize the hardships Walls overcame. Second, to gain inspiration from Walls to overcome your own hardships. And third, to gain a more positive outlook on life. The first reason to read The Glass Castle are to realize the difficulties that Walls overcame in her life. Rex Walls and Rosemary Walls moved their family, Jeanette and her three siblings, around the desert f till Jeanette was almost 10 years old. They did what Rex called the skedaddle. It's when they just moved from city to city. They did this for several reasons. First, because Rex Walls didn't trust anything that was run by the government. He didn't trust hospitals, he didn't trust public schools, he didn't, and he especially didn't trust law enforcement. Any time that there was any run-in with the law enforcement, whether it be good or bad, he would always move to a different city. Rosemary said that he was just trying to avoid bill collectors. Another reason they kept moving around is because Rex was trying to find gold using his own invention called the Prospector. His goal was to build the Glass Castle, which was a house for his family made entirely of glass. However, any money that they ever made, Rex, Rex always spent on alcohol because he was an alcoholic. And Rosemary, being an aspiring artist, always spent it on art supplies. After they settled in a town called Battle Mountain for a while, the kids had a run-in with the law, and so they were forced to move to Phoenix. They lived in a house that Rosemary inherited from her recently deceased mother. Er, they lived there for a while, but then they eventually run at, ran out of money because Rex spent money on alcohol. Rosemary convinced Rex to move to Welch, West Virginia, which is where his family was from. They moved in with Rex's mother, Irma. However, this didn't last very long because Irma was abusive, abusive to her grandchildren. She would hardly ever feed them, she would yell at them, and she would barely let, the, let them out of the basement. The Walls family bought a new house on a hill. It had three rooms, and, but it didn't have any heat or electricity. And there it was a giant hole next to their house that, that held garbage, which was where they had rats and they had vermin, and, or all kinds of vermin in it. Walls' mother and father both refused to get a job, and they spent any money they had, of course, on art supplies and alcohol. Walls herself was forced to get a job to help support her siblings because her parents refused to do it. Lori and Jeanette forced or or Lori and Jeanette fed up with her with their parents' antics, planned to move to New York City after graduation. They eventually do, and then Brian and Maureen. Jeanette's other siblings followed them to New York. Their parents, however, were jealous that they got out of Welch, Welch and they followed them. They didn't get jobs, however, so they became squatters and were homeless. Jeanette had to deal with them, but she realized later that she had to take care of herself and that she didn't, and that she didn't have the ability to take care of her parents, too. These were some of the difficulties that Jeanette Walsh had to overcome in her life. The second reason to read The Glass Castle is to gain inspiration from walls to overcome your own difficulties. If you're ever in a situation where you find that you don't have any other option, don't give up. Jeanette Walls never gave up on anything in her life. She never gave up on her siblings, and they, her siblings always stuck together. She even took on a different role of being her parents for her siblings and even her own parents. She learned that you had to do anything to get by. And she also had to make sacrifices for the greater good. She left her own parents behind just so that she could take care of herself and her siblings. She had to sacrifice her parents' feelings to try to get them to, to try to get them to support their family, even though it didn't work. And and that and that was why another reason why you should read the Glass Castle. The third reason to read the Glass Castle is to get her it's to gain a better perspective on life. Or one thing you should get from life is to stay loyal to your loved ones. You should never give up on your. Si she never gave up on her siblings, 
and she and she even tried to to please her parents and she'll always err and always find a way to persevere she never gave up on anything and she always found a way to make it through today I've shared with you three reasons why you should read the glass castle first to realize the difficulties Jeanette Walls overcame second to gain inspiration from Walls's hardship and third to gain a better perspective on life Eventually, Walls made peace with everything that happened in her life. She realized that her story was a story of triumph, not one of misfortune. I hope you get a chance to read The Glass Castle so you can experience the story of a strange, peculiar, but loving family.